Hey, it's Bruce coming to you once again with LakeDeicer.com and I want to offer you a couple of different tips of how to use uh, various different forms of our deicers, whether you're using a rope suspension, uh, which I call a sling, or your universal dock mount, which is mounting it literally with hardware, or the other option is with our float model. So I just want to walk through just some of uh, the basics and we've got uh, there's about eight other videos and you might want to catch those as well for offering you some different tips. But if you're going to work in shallow water then what we recommend that you do is direct the flow of the water uh, from the deep water towards the shallow water. Remember the whole concept here is that deeper water has warmer water down on the bottom. The, the earth or the lake bottom or pond area actually is got, uh, the, the earth is warmer and so that's going to make the water down there warmer as well. So you, our goal is to get to the deeper water and push it up. So if you've got uh, you know a deeper area moving towards a shallow, which is most shorelines, you're going to want to push that deeper water um, towards the shallow. Um, so that is the most important key to remember and so we're going to push that and circulate that upward to the surface preventing ice forming or to actually melt the ice. Now it's also often easier to use um, a de-icer with a boat by stall it, installing it um, on the front so that it actually kind of hits it and the bow would actually split it and cause it to go off from both sides. You know, we're not afraid to sell you two de-icers if you want, one for each side of the boat, but why not use the efficiency by having it in the front of the boat pointing at the bow so it basically cuts it or splits it down both sides. Now, a, a similar concept works well to have it angled up towards the shoreline so that when it hits the shoreline or the sea wall or retaining wall, whatever the case might be, it'll flare out and kind of tee off, uh, you know, to the left, to the right, and then um, it'll, it'll fan out and really do a nice job that way as well. Now, if you're out on the coast and you've got tidal waters, then what you want to do is split the difference in the water depth so that the icer, is, the icer is in shallow water at low tide and deep water at high tide. Now there's another way and if you do happen to have a boat in place in this slip or marina or wherever you might be, the other option is just tie it to the, uh, the bottom of the boat or tie it so that it floats with the boat and goes up and down. Now, I'd suggest you stop back and take a look at one of our other videos where we talk about um, the dock mount, which would be a stationary mount, or the float mount as well. Again, this is Bruce with BoatDockDeicer.com.